Hello students, I'm going to walk you through some quick and easy steps that will hopefully fix some of the technical issues that some of the students have been experiencing uh, using Connect. Uh, you are uh, really supposed to only be accessing these on a computer or laptop. Uh, I've had students increasingly try to do their Connect work on uh, mobile devices like cell phones and tablets. Uh, I know that McGraw-Hill is desperately working on a new version of Connect that is going to be a lot more compatible with those devices, but unfortunately right now it's not suggested that you complete your work on there. Now if you've been doing that and, and you've had no problems whatsoever, then totally disregard what I just said. But uh, I do know that some students have been trying to uh, do these on their smartphones and it's just not really designed for that. So make sure you're using an actual computer. Uh, second of all, make sure you're using the browsers uh, seen here, either uh, Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. Those are the uh, recommended browsers that both Blackboard and Connect are supposed to run upon. And you can find download links for those on our Blackboard. You go underneath the Connect section, go underneath Connect Help, and then go underneath the FAQ frequently asked questions section. You could probably find a lot of solutions to any kind of problem you're experiencing there. But I want to talk about uh, the issue of pop-ups and uh, flash and things like that. So if you're in Chrome, you might want to make sure that like once you go into uh, an actual assignment, I'm just going to click on one here. Uh, let's go into this Learn Smart assignment here. Once you click on the assignment. I've had some students say that their um, smart books are not loading or once they load they're having trouble loading up um, the additional stuff like uh, listening guides and things like that. So once you're in the smart book, uh, if for some reason it is not loading the smart book for you, you may want to click on this little information circle. It looks like an eye with a circle around it uh, up to the left of that and you want to um, check to see if flash is blocked or anything like that. Um, you can change it to always allow on this site and it should remember that for future times. And you want to make sure that pop-ups are also allowed because there is a built-in pop-up blocker and sometimes when you have um, you know little things that you click on in your smart book like the listing outlines down here and stuff like that you may experience an issue of them not loading properly if you have your pop-ups blocked so for instance when I click on this uh, that should load okay and if it doesn't then once again you want to click and uh, check those settings there and sometimes it will take it a few minutes to load up so sometimes you just need to be patient um, just because it doesn't load up instantly uh, doesn't mean there's always something broken now if you're still experiencing trouble you see this did eventually load up you can try to check the permanent settings by going on underneath these uh, three little dots here and go under settings and then you can go under advanced just scroll down to advanced and it'll open up some additional stuff there you can check underneath um, for instance where it says content settings uh, you can check underneath that and um, you know see if uh, you have flash you know blocked from stuff um, you want to make sure of course cookies are enabled because that's um, another issue some students are have and underneath pop-ups make sure that that is clicked on allowed you want it to be blue colored if it's gray like that and it says blocked you want to allow pop-ups um, that's going to allow general pop-ups on your web browser uh, just be careful what sites you go on. Uh, <laughs> you probably shouldn't be going on some sketchy websites anyway, but some of those do have obnoxious little pop-up ads and stuff like that. So, But uh, uh, that's how you do it in Google Chrome. Now, if you're using Firefox, it's very similar. There's an, also a little information tab up there. You want to um, allow pop-ups of course and you may even see a little flash warning or something like that uh, flash is basically the software that um, helps the connect stuff load up and everything so um, when you go into your smart book in Firefox it looks pretty much identical 
In fact, sometimes I kind of forget which browser I'm on because I use them both. And I do encourage all of you to have both because sometimes if Chrome is acting up on me, I'll just use uh, Firefox. Uh, as with any technology, it's great when it works. Sometimes it doesn't work though, and it can be a little frustrating. So, but we do not want you as students to be frustrated or hampered in your education by technology. Technology should make learning easier, not more difficult. And I know some of you have been uh, experiencing frustration and difficulty. So, so I will. Uh, that's one of the reasons I want to make this video. Is kind of walk you through it. So it's going to be very similar. If you're not seeing your smart book pop up and stuff, you want to make sure you check your permissions. Um, ignore anything about it being an unsecure page. Um, that's you don't have to worry about that. That's not why it's not working. You want to check uh, basically the the pop ups and stuff like that. Make sure those are enabled. And then you can also go under the settings. Although they're called options in Firefox, you can go under that and go under content and make sure that you know pop-ups aren't blocked. You do, you do not want to check there. You want to make sure it's unchecked. And you don't have to click on save or anything. Just close it out and it remembers that you've done that. So there is one other additional thing to check for in Firefox. If you are accessing your smart book or trying to, you may see something that looks like a, a little square Lego block up here. Uh, you want to click on that and it you want to click on allow and remember. Uh, that is another little quick um, little fix there is to click on that and um, you know if it says this right here block plugin or continue allowing, you want to continue allowing. So make sure that if you know the eye thing doesn't work up there also look for that little lego block looking thing and make sure you're allowing uh, flash uh, to run if you're still experiencing trouble after all the suggestions in this video then at that point it's probably just advisable that you contact uh, tech support uh, through mcgraw hill education and uh, the way you do that basically is let me let it go to student view here um, you can go in I think you guys have a different menu than I do over there you may have like a little tech support thing over there but if not then just go into any assignment it doesn't matter what assignment it is just go into any assignment and go ahead and just start it and then if you click on help uh, it will take you to you know the help the main help page and then you can go up here under contact us and that will take you to the main page there so just make sure underneath here you select student and connect is the software that you use you can find all kinds of articles that may help you further but you can also go under here under contact support and uh, I believe that will well, their link might be broken right now. <laughs> oh, okay, here it is. It, it for some reason it went to that thing. So, but yeah, this is uh, uh, you know, different ways. You got live chat. You got a phone number, and uh, as far as I know, that phone number is twenty four seven, even on Christmas Eve. <laughs> even though you won't be in school then, uh, you can use that. So there's all kinds of way ways here for you to contact them. So if it's still giving you trouble after everything you tried in this video you you really need to at that point uh, speak with an expert uh, so if you are experiencing trouble still just email me let me know you know that you've contacted tech support and of course i'll i'll, I'll work with you on that